Hallo! Hallo! It's Lillian here from Copenhagen. Alexis is back at Toronto. It's time for our two week update. Alexis? Hello! This is officially the two week mark. Two weeks deep. And it's hell. Um, <laughs> just kidding. But not really. Um, as you can see, an empty spot beside me. Two weeks, it's difficult because you just saw each other, just, but it feels like forever. You know it's gonna take a really long time till you see each other again. There is no ticket bought yet, there is no countdown. We're hoping for June, but you never know. You say goodbye to each other, it's really fresh though, so it's still sad, it's just, yeah, it hasn't hasn't kicked it. Skype dates, Skype dates, Skype dates. Plan dates, go on Skype, see each other, have conversations, talk about how your day went. Even if it's the smallest little thing, I wanna hear how it made you feel. Because I love you and I care about you. Just like, plan to watch movies together. Just talk on the phone. We talk on the phone a lot. I think the longest conversation we have was like eight hours or something straight. And it's crazy, we don't run out of things to talk about. We could talk about the craziest things and never get bored. <laughs> and that's how it should be. Like how often is too much? How much is too little? What if we run out of things to talk? What if it's awkward? Film sex. Just do it. I think what's important is to know you don't always have to have something to talk about. You don't have to talk every day. Do what you're comfortable with. Do what feels right. Just express to each other how you feel. Reminisce about memories. That's a huge one. Get a little closer. <laughs> Keep each other in the loop. I would say that's probably the biggest little piece of advice I could give you. Remember that there is someone on this planet across the ocean, a couple hours away, in another country, whatever it is, just know that they are on the same boat as you and you guys should be very proud of yourselves because it is hard, but you can do it. There's nothing that life can throw in front of you that are gonna prevent you guys from one day being together. So remember that. <laughs> send letters, send packages, Take the time out of your day to write your lover a letter. Let's stick to just social media stuff, you know, physically having something in your hand that they touched and they took the moment. It really means a lot. It might seem like the smallest thing, but when I get a letter from her, I'm just like, <gasps> like this like magical treasure like appeared at my house. Snapchat. Snapchat and those Instagram videos. Those are really, really big things because you can keep your partner updated on what's going on in your life outside of your long distance relationship. Um, just like little things, if they're out with your, if you're out with your friends or if you're just, you know, missing them, send them a Snapchat video. It takes like nothing, no time at all. I miss her. I miss her a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's getting pretty dark outside now, so. We'll keep you guys updated on, you know, the month apart, the two months, whatever it is. Stay tuned. What we're thinking of doing is sort of like a bi-weekly check-in, updates and how things are going. Follow our journey, subscribe, like, ask us questions, whatever it is, we, we wanna know. How you feel and we want to know about your long distance relationships as well and how they're going we're going to do different sort of segments next up is going to be ghosting we're going to ask some people why did you ghost someone and we're going to collect their answers for you and discuss the topic so that should be fun and we'll see you soon morning good afternoon good night wherever you are and i love you William.